Hi everyone, this is Caleb Quirin with AppSec California 2017 here in Santa Monica. I'm joined by Neil Matadal. Neil, how are you? Great, fantastic. For those out there who don't know, Neil is one of the founding fathers of AppSec California originally, uh, maybe three or four years ago here. So it's great to have you back. Uh, Neil, you're at GitHub Security these days and you came back to present. Tell the audience, if you don't mind, a little bit about your presentation. So my presentation really just focuses on the fact that securing a startup is fundamentally different than securing, say, the enterprise. Um, really, what you have to focus on is prevention rather than finding bugs or fixing bugs, because that's the only way you can scale a small team as a company grows, which w it will grow faster than your security team. So there's a lot of very specific technologies that you can put in place early on. There's a lot of specific cultural uh, things that you can emphasize as people do their day-to-day -day work. Um, and really, you just shouldn't be doing anything unless it can scale. And so my focus, or my talk was about everything I've learned over the past five years or so, working with two startups, specifically GitHub and Twitter, and literally what worked and what didn't work. Um, I did not try to come up with any sort of comprehensive, high-level plan that will work for everyone. It was specifically based on facts of what has happened in the past. Great. So you've seen a lot of change uh, in your startup uh, experience as well as here at AppSec California. So uh, how have you seen this conference change over time? Uh, well, the first year was definitely a little rough. Attendance was a little light. And I think uh, there were fewer conversations happening just because there were less people. Um, but now I see a good mix of all the familiar faces, lots of new faces, certainly a more diverse crowd, which I think is the most important part. Um, and because of that, I think more conversations are happening. What do you mean by more diverse? In what way? <laughs> well, that's not a bunch of white dudes anymore. Oh. Um, certainly we can do more in that regard, but uh, the, the amount of women here, the amount of people of color has significantly grown from the first year. Terrific. Okay. So I know you always have a lot of projects, a lot of things going on. Uh, I understand you're working on a conference, a, a new conference. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, when we first decided to do AppSec California, we didn't really have a coherent mission on what we all wanted it to be. And it's sort of the, the interests of the two groups might have split at some point. So the, the idea behind this conference is to make it a single track, invite only, so no CFP. I'm sorry, anyone can attend, but the speakers will be invite only. So it can be a very, very highly curated content sort of thing. Um, unfortunately, that means that a lot of people might not get a chance to get their feet wet. And we understand that that's a problem for a lot of people. And it's, it's something that conferences like this definitely give people a chance to do. But we wanted to get a small number of people together who really uh, have a, a great chance of making great changes for the internet as a whole in a short amount of time. When is that going to be? You have a, a, a way people can find out more? And then I have one more question for you after that. Yes, yeah, so it'll be April of 2018. We do not have an exact date, but we do have a month and a year. Um, it's going to be the Loco Moco Security Conference, which if anyone is familiar, if not familiar with the Loco Moco, it is a traditional Hawaiian dish that is incredibly delicious. Um, we have our Twitter handle at LocomocoSec, and LocomocoSec.com is our website. It's barely just a placeholder at this point, but you can at least sign up for our Twitter account and the newsletter to keep updated. Great. So last question for you, Neil, is... Um how would you suggest people uh, think about apps at Cali? Is this like a must do or is this like a great conference for a seasoned person, newbie? Wh wh how would you put this on the schedule for people who are thinking about a conference to attend? Uh, well, I mean, honestly, I feel like it's a conference for everyone because you apps at, apps at Cali, apps at Cali yeah. is, is a great conference for everyone because you're, you're in Silicon Beach and there are a lot of professionals in town that are here just because of the location. You have a lot of professionals who are here because it's on one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, and a lot of the places around the country right now are pretty cold. Um, there's definitely talks that are beginner friendly, and there are talks that are highly technical and perhaps very high level. Um, but nobody's better than anybody, and you can see that in the conversations that are happening between the experts and the sort of newer people, or maybe even the people who are just experts in other areas and are sort of getting their feet wet. So it's really a conference for everyone. Thanks very much. Sam.